What's going on, guys? Declaration. Brian. What's up, peeps? Back on the Factory 535 Hot Rod Truck. And the last video of this, I know you guys were excited. We were excited as well. But there is a couple things that we need to fix from that video. <laughs> Brian. Well, it's, it's a day ending and why. There's always something to fix. It's got a point. But the exhaust, as you guys probably heard, was making some contact to the floor. And I got a couple of good recommendations, but uh, I'll, I'll kind of get it a, a better understanding. Yeah, that's about four inches. We're gonna have to cut that completely flush. Yeah, it's a low car, very low car. So I can't even do like that NASCAR one. That would be really sick because it'll still rub like the square or the rectangle exhaust. Yeah, it'll still rub. So we're gonna cut it flush, but it's still gonna shoot it out of the back. So we're gonna work on that first and we'll see how time goes and everything else. We'll probably jump on the, say the coolant system next. And um, because it actually held with that, but yeah, you, you said you tightened the hose a couple more times. Yeah, it's, it's probably as tight as it's gonna get without damaging the hose, so. Okay, yeah, so he tightened the- One step short of James getting the impact wrench out and <laughs> put the impact driver on to hold the belt on. The James he's referring to is Jack Stan Jimmy on the Cletus channel, in case you were wondering. <laughs> but yes, um, so the we didn't leak any coolant, um, but Brian and I came up with a kind of like a idea and just thought process of thinking. If you look closely, that's my radiator cap. That's my intake. So something happens where a radiator cap blows off Water goes straight into the intake. And for the physic aficionados above, about, um, amongst you, water doesn't compress, which means engine go bye-bye. Or rods tend to exit the block in the unconventional manner. So yeah, uh, we're going to uh, reroute the cooling hose just for getting it a little bit out of the way so if the water blows it just blows and doesn't necessarily get sucked straight into the intake so yes so coolant revision 4642 will be next <laughs> Yay. so yeah uh stay tuned so we're gonna get cracking on this exhaust first and yeah hopefully it'll, everything works out Probably won't, but I mean, I can hope. <laughs> we can always hope. Always hope. <laughs> All right, stay tuned, guys.
All right, welcome back guys. As you guys saw, we did our modifications to the exhaust. And oh my God, it looks amazing. So, comes out almost flush with the body and it just kind of pushes the exhaust out the side from the bottom. And same on the other side. Looks really good. I'm pretty happy with it. Looks kind of artistic as well, not like a perfectly straight cut, but just kind of like a swooping cut. Same on both sides. But yeah, this is quite nice. Uh, we'll probably test that out at some point. Uh, I don't know what time it is. I'm getting close to getting late, so. But Brian right now is working on something. He is, as you can see, we're working on the coolant system now. So the next little thing, I'm probably gonna put you guys on a time lapse and watch Brian work some magic. Get yourself a Brian. Oh, someone said that uh, that should be a t-shirt <laughs> as well. So <laughs> yeah, or no, another t-shirt, no Brian. <laughs> that should be another t-shirt apparently. <laughs> uh, I I might have to do some design later tonight. But all right, stay tuned, guys. Welcome back, guys. Brian, how are you feeling? Hey, it works. It's together. Looks a little better. It does. We're not going to blow the cap directly into the engine. Yeah. It's just slightly under, but not, not a worries. That's not bad. So at least when water pours out of this, it goes this way, not that way <laughs> into the intake. So with the space consideration we have, Brian... You want to talk about your fun experience? Yeah. What would have made this whole thing a lot easier is carburetors. Because <laughs> then that intake wouldn't be sitting right there and I could have made curly Q hoses to go from... No. They make kits to... No. Put carburetors in LS? No. Oh yeah. No. I, I know they make kits. I, I know that's a thing. 
No, Brian, we're not doing that. I spent all the money on this intake system. I know. But yes, so yeah, we got the hose going. We haven't put any coolant in it yet. Um, that's gonna be a next video problem. Tomorrow, next video, whatever. Gary and Brian problem. Because that's gonna probably be a whole fun experience as well. I'm trying to see if we can get the pressure uh, vacuum bleeder to actually work this time. I mean, I, I think we tightened everything up, so yeah, we'll find out. Um, but yes, so as you guys saw, we got the exhaust on and we got the, the coolant system redone for the 4,456th time. Yeah, something like that. Somewhere around there. I mean, hey, we still have 10,000 more times before we revamp it. But, <laughs> but all right, uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, hit that notification bell. Um, yeah, have a good one. Peace. See if we get this right. It's Lala Patrick, Sonia, Eve. There you go. Happy St. Patrick's Day in Gaelic. Ah, Just yeah. for you guys. Yeah, this will be after St. Patrick's Day, obviously, but <laughs> it's currently St. Patrick's Day. That's show you how fresh these videos are for you guys. <laughs> All right, stay tuned, guys. Slanche. Ah, see. <laughs> and yes. <laughs> Peace.